Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you have the opportunity to join me. I'm Dr. Jan. This is Journey with Jesus, Nuggets of Thought, Saturday prayer time. And boy, oh boy, I'm praying that God's presence really meets us where we are seeking him. This week we were looking at, I've got a river of life flowing out of me and spring up a well, the songs. And we talked about in the midweek um, section that we were going to need to look at what's in our well, what's in our heart, what's in our spirit, because it could be very clogged up from our life. And, you know, if any of you have ever dealt with a water pump, you know, the old fashioned, you had to prime it to get it started. And for us who live with a water that's rain captured, after a period of time, you probably should go in, drain the water, clean out the gunk, and start all over. This is what we need to do with our life. And I'm praying that this time of prayer and our Bible study is going to help us, as I've been hearing the words, recalibrate, reunite us, and reconnect us with God. He wants to spend the time with us. That's why and that is why God created us from Adam. He wanted to have a family that he was connected with and was able to meet with face to face. And through all that has gone on in history, he has been wooing and working to bring us back to that right relationship even after Satan had tricked Adam and Eve into giving up our birthright as king's kids. But we are king's kids through Jesus Christ. Now, in our prayer time, we are going through acts, adoration, confession, thanks, and supplication. And I realize that sometimes we may find it more difficult to find those words of adoration. So I started looking up this week and I came across not what I was originally looking for. And I will make sure I put this inside the um, description at the bottom, but it is uh, the God of our lives. It's a free download. And there are 12 chapters, and I did. I went back and double-checked on this author. Let's see if I can find his name real quick. Um, oh, my goodness. I don't have Martin Puryear, P-U-R-Y-E-A-R. And I double-checked that his uh, background of what he believes in the Bible, you know, God, three in one, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, uh, he believes in the church, resurrection, uh, all that would make me understand before I've read everything that it meets the uh, God standard and the Bible standards of what we believe and that I would not want to share anything that might give us a distraction or not um, being faithful to what the Bible says. So in his book, it's a it's an ebook, it's free, that he gives us the different names of God. And what I was looking for uh, when I was at Oral Roberts University and Oral Roberts was still living and he would speak to us at chapel and many of our services that he had gone through and I'm thinking it's A to Z or a hundred different names of God that as going through, oh, I know what it was. It was a 66 because in every book of the Bible, God is shown of one of his characteristics. That's what I will have to look. Aha, that's now how I know to look it up. But in looking it up, we go through Yahweh. Our God is self-existent. Yahweh, our God is faithful. Our God is holy. Yahweh Nisi, because this is God is truth. And so it goes through each one of them. So when we're wanting to adore God, unfortunately, we as humans, we are so finite in our understanding of who God is. We need to look at some of those who have done research to tell us and help us so we can adore him in his characteristic of who he is. Because we as humans, we don't know. But the more we know, 
the more we realize how much we can and need to praise him, adore him, and allow him to be our king who will then live in us and well up. That's where, oh, well up the soul. Our welling up is not in anything that we can do. We have been redeemed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ who died, rose again, and is now seated in the heavenlies. And that's where our well springs up. Well, today, also in Acts chapter 17, in part of our adoration, if you remember, I've also encouraged us that when we pray, we can pray all day. We should be praying always. But there are times we need to pull away. And when we pull away, we need to be quiet. We may need to read the Bible. We may need to sing or put on quiet music. Well, in anticipation for today in our prayer time, I have just been, God help me, I want to make this not just a rote prayer, and I want to demonstrate that we don't have to be perfect prayers. We just need to have our heart wanting to touch you, and you want to touch us. Well, in Acts chapter 17, verses 24, starting uh, down through, I think, 28. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by human hands. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. From one man he made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. And as some of our own poets have said, we are his offspring. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> Our goal is to love our God, God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul. And let nothing become an idol that puts him below that. Yes, we have families, we have homes, we have jobs, all of those things. But in also what I was reading and listening is we have to pour out ourselves. So there is nothing but God within us. And then he restores to us the strength, the joy, the happiness that we need. Not because of the circumstances, but because of the filling, infilling of him in us, through us, then around us. And that changes our circumstances. And again, it changes the circumstances, not necessarily that they would all go away, but we can believe that all things are possible through Christ. And so let's begin to pray. And as I said, with all the computers and everything going on, I, I need to pray with my eyes open. You may close your eyes, uh, whatever you need to do. But our goal is to press into the presence of our Lord Jesus, our God, our Father, the Holy Spirit. God, we are coming to adore you. We thank you. We adore you for who you are, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of all the universe, the God who is faithful, the God who is holy, God who is truth, God who is our watchful defender, a loving master and all powerful and all sufficient, all present in everything. God, you are the supreme being. No weapon formed against you will prosper. There is no name above yours. You are the great almighty light and power, uh, beauty and sound and everything that is, is because of you. Nothing that has been created is created without you. You are all in all and everywhere present. We confess that we can't even imagine or comprehend or even understand your greatness of who you are we are small we are finite we are without understanding and we just confess that we do not know you in the manner that we should however we are so thankful that you sent jesus christ to be our sacrifice that brought us back to right relationship with you that even though we in human 
humanity had chosen to go another way of whether deception or out of choice whatever it was father it did it separated us because you are so holy that you cannot and will not accept sin in your presence but you wanted us and you loved us so much that you sent jesus to die and rise from the grave and take captive all of the evil that wanted to separate us and he has won the victory and is seated at the right hand of the father we thank you for that we thank you thank you thank you that we do not have to live this life alone we don't have to be without hope that you are our provider thank you thank you for giving us more of you every day through the holy spirit and the infilling into our well of our soul we ask this is our supplication that we decrease that you may increase that the well of the spirit rise up within us give us the joy of the lord to be our strength our salvation we just ask that you provide safety protection knowledge wisdom we pray that the angels of mercy surround our homes our family our children those in our authority whatever jobs we're on our sphere of influence we pray that your kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven beginning right here with us in us that we will be the change agents for this world that the light of god is going to shine forth break forth and break every dark barrier that you came it says to bring light to the world we are now your receptive we're your receptacles we are your lamps and we are vessels that you want to send your spirit in and you want to burst through and burst out into this world around us the light of god the love of god the power of god everything that we've been praying in the adoration you want to use us as your vessels to take back this is your world and satan is a liar and he has no authority he has no claim on it we are your children and we are ready to claim and stand and be all that you want us to be and yet in that we are giving over our life our submission to you help us to be obedient help us to know that being obedient is not being subservient other than it is being risen up to a higher level in the spirit realm it it doesn't make sense in human help us god help us not to keep questioning and trying to figure it out help us to follow and obey the bible so that we can see your power come on earth as it is in heaven and that you want us to be victorious and show that victory so that all the nations and all the world will see the glory of the lord and they will see how gracious and mighty and loving you are in jesus name amen and amen please like follow comment and share i look forward to check us out on monday we're going to have our new bible study that will start if you haven't been able to uh, follow along you know you can look up journey with jesus whether it's on facebook youtube or linkedin and you can find all of those items i'm dr jan this is journey with jesus nuggets of thought. Have a great day.